Hey guys, it's Rantic, and although many of you probably don't really care, I feel like I want to make a little bit of closure with what's been going on lately. I don't want to leave without any, like, you know, prior knowledge given to you guys. But I'm sorry I had to work that way, but right now, right here, I will explain to you what was going on. So our team was doing really well. Uh, we were all performing very well. We had a, we still have a great manager. Or I shouldn't say we because I'm no longer part of the Dream Team, if you haven't noticed. And I'm totally okay with it because I understand their thought process and I hope they understand mine in some way. But, you know, it's kind of a one-sided deal. I'm, I seem like the bad guy in the situation and I totally understand why. So, one of our players could not attempt, or could not, you know, make the show match. He couldn't, couldn't play for a long per period of time. And I figured he wasn't going to be able to play at all. I was wrong. He was able to play the last show match, the one that counted the most, probably. In my eyes, that's probably the one that counted most, even though they did the best on that one. They came back, and they played outrageously. I watched the whole thing. But I was in that situation. I had just got home from uh, staying after school and playing basketball with a friend. And I figured that it would probably be the best thing for me to do. Because I had canceled previous plans. I had all, all clear schedule for that Friday. I would canceled previous plans to hang out with a lot of good friends, and, you know, I it really, I really didn't want to, you know, cancel with them, but I had to, to, in order to play in the show match. So, with that being said, I was ready. So, he kind of, on the, you know, brink of the show match, said that he couldn't, uh, you know, he couldn't attend it for his own reasons, which, you know, that's his reasons, he can do whatever he wants, it's his life. I said that I didn't want to play, if unless we were doing it as a whole team. And I felt like that was a way that would kind of make them understand. But then again, it probably let them down in a way. And I, I did let, let them down. Though they did win without me, they had an outrageously good fill-in both times. Both Prodigy and Kane. And they're great players and probably better than me in terms of all-around play style. And every, everything that they have to do is just great. We're a bunch of unknown players that are, you know, really underrated. And it's perfect that they get the opportunities that they get. So I didn't attend the show match, and, you know, on the same brink, plans came up where I got to hang out with a bunch of good friends again, and I figured that with the time and the situation being the way that it was, that I could go play with them, or I, I mean, I could go hang out with them, and um, I did. Was it worth it? I mean, it depends on your definition of how something was worth something. Think, fun things happen that again... Did I want to give up my whole competitive Call of Duty career to hang out with a bunch of friends for just one night? And I mean, it all depends on, you know, how life just progresses on. Maybe it won't be worth it. Maybe it will be worth it. I guess we'll see. But this is Rantic signing off for the last time, and it's nice knowing y'all. Peace.